I've got a jaw-dropping story about a fossil discovery that has literally changed the way we understand early animal evolution. All right, so picture this. Scientists have long been baffled by a huge mystery in the fossil record. The molecular clock, which is like a genetic stopwatch, suggested that sponges, one of the earliest animal groups, evolved about 700 million years ago. But here's the kicker. No one could find any sponge fossils older than 540 million years. That's a 160 million year gap. Enter Shu Hai Xiao and his team from Virginia Tech. They recently uncovered a 550 million year old sea sponge fossil that potentially bridges this mysterious gap. This groundbreaking find was published on June 5th in the journal Nature. So, what's so special about this fossil? First off, it comes from a time we call the lost years of sponges. Unlike modern sponges, this ancient specimen didn't have a mineral skeleton. This might explain why we couldn't find older sponge fossils. They were soft-bodied and thus rarely survived fossilization. Here's how it went down. Xiao received a picture of this fossil from a collaborator who had excavated it along the Yangtze River in China. At first glance, Xiao was floored. He had never seen anything like it. After ruling out other possibilities like sea squirts, sea anemones and corals, Xiao and his team concluded this was indeed an ancient sea sponge. Previously in 2019, Xiao's team had theorized that early sponges didn't leave fossils because they hadn't developed those hard needle-like structures called spicules that modern sponges have. This new fossil discovery supports that theory. The fossil itself is fascinating. It's about 15 inches long and has a complex conical body plan, much larger and more intricate than scientists had expected. Another intriguing detail is its surface pattern, which relates it closely to a type of glass sponge. So what does this all mean? After delving into the fascinating discovery of the 550 million year old sea sponge, let's dive deeper into what scientists call the paleontological paradox. This paradox arises from discrepancies between molecular clock estimates and the fossil record. Molecular clocks use genetic data to estimate the timing of evolutionary events. According to these estimates, certain groups of organisms, such as sponges, should have appeared much earlier than their fossilized remains suggest. For instance, sponges are thought to have evolved around 700 million years ago, yet convincing sponge fossils from rocks that old have been elusive. In a remarkable breakthrough, Researchers led by Xu Hai Xiao at Virginia Tech unearthed a 550 million year old sea sponge fossil. This ancient specimen provides a missing link in the evolutionary family tree, filling a 160 million year gap in the fossil record. Unlike later sponges, this ancient variety lacked mineral skeletons, making it harder to preserve as fossils. The implications of this discovery are profound. It challenges our assumptions about when sponges first emerged, suggesting that sponges existed long before the appearance of their mineralized counterparts. The period between 700 million years ago, as estimated by molecular clocks, and 550 million years ago, when the fossil was found, has been dubbed the Lost Years. During this time, crucial evolutionary events occurred, but the lack of fossils has obscured our understanding. So, why the gap? Several hypotheses attempt to explain this paleontological paradox. One explanation is the soft-bodied bias. Fossils of soft-bodied organisms like sponges without mineral skeletons are less likely to be preserved. Another possibility involves taphonomic filters, where certain environments favor fossilization while others do not. Perhaps the lost years were dominated by non-fossilizing conditions. There's also the idea of cryptic fossils. Microscopic or cryptic fossils may exist but remain undetected due to their small size or inconspicuous nature. Lastly, rapid ecological changes during the lost years could have affected the distribution and preservation of organisms. And this isn't the only paradox in paleontology. Consider the Cambrian explosion paradox. Before the Cambrian explosion, the fossil record primarily contains soft-bodied fossils lacking shells or bones. Suddenly, around 540 million years ago, an extraordinary burst of diversity occurred, giving rise to complex organisms with hard parts. Yet the pre-Cambrian period remains enigmatic, as if life had been quietly experimenting in the shadows before unveiling its grand spectacle. Or take sharks, for example. These ancient cartilaginous fish have an extensive fossil record stretching back 409 million years, yet, except in cases of exceptional preservation, little more than their teeth remains. 
After bridging the evolutionary gap with our 550 million year old sea sponge, let's now uncover how scientists study ancient ecosystems. Imagine piecing together a prehistoric jigsaw puzzle, each piece revealing a fragment of our planet's long lost worlds. Fossils are our time capsules. By examining ancient remains such as bones, shells and plant impressions, scientists infer the organisms that lived in a particular ecosystem. These fossils reveal details about diet, behavior and interactions, offering a window into the past. Sedimentary rocks preserve clues. Layers of rock contain fossils, pollen and chemical signatures. By analyzing these layers, scientists can decipher past environments, climate and even catastrophic events like asteroid impacts. Each layer is a page in Earth's history book. Isotopes are atomic detectives. Stable isotopes, which are variants of elements found in fossils or rocks, reveal dietary habits, migration patterns and climate conditions. For instance, oxygen isotopes can indicate ancient temperatures, painting a vivid picture of historical climates. Paleoecology models are like time machines. Scientists build these models to simulate ancient ecosystems considering factors like temperature, precipitation and species interactions. By tweaking parameters, they can recreate past habitats and understand how these ecosystems functioned. Trace fossils are not just bones, tracks, burrows and coprolites. Fossilized dung reveal behavior. A dinosaur footprint or a worm burrow tells a story of ancient life, capturing moments frozen in time. Pollen analysis allows us to map ancient landscapes. Pollen grains preserved in sediments enable scientists to reconstruct past vegetation and understand changes over time. These tiny time travelers help us piece together the ecological puzzles of yesteryears. Microfossils, though tiny, are mighty. Diatoms, foraminifera and radiolarians, single-celled organisms, provide insights into ancient oceans, climate and nutrient cycles. Their microscopic remains are treasure troves of information. Geochemistry involves analyzing elements like carbon, nitrogen and sulfur. These elements leave chemical fingerprints in fossils or sediments, helping unravel ecological dynamics and interactions. Experimental archaeology is hands-on history. Scientists recreate ancient tools, techniques and practices to learn how early humans interacted with their environment. By experimenting, they bridge the gap between past and present. Taphonomy studies the journey from life to fossil. Understanding decay, burial and preservation processes informs our interpretation of ancient ecosystems, ensuring we read the fossil record accurately. What are some of the famous ancient ecosystems that have shaped our planet's history? Let's explore a few. Stromatolites are living fossils and Earth's oldest life forms. These layered rocks built by colonies of photosynthesizing cyanobacteria enrich the atmosphere with oxygen, enabling the evolution of complex life forms. Some stromatolites date back 3.5 billion years. Rainforests are Earth's oldest living ecosystems, having survived in their present form for at least 70 million years. These lush, biodiverse habitats have witnessed the rise and fall of countless species over geological time. The Great Barrier Reef, though it has changed over time, remains one of the oldest ecosystems. Its coral reefs have persisted for hundreds of thousands of years, showcasing a dynamic yet enduring natural wonder.